Have you ever been in a conversation and noticed that halfway into it, the other party seems disengaged or preoccupied or disinterested in what you're having to say? Or have you ever been listening to someone that just goes on and on and on with a topic that completely bores you and you're looking for ways to end it? You know, I think we have used dialogue to navigate life from the very beginning of time. In fact, the word dialogue comes from two words, dyad, which means at least two people, and log actually comes from the word logos, which means truthful words. You know, at the very essence of communication is that people understand how to use words with each other in relationship and in truthful ways. We are challenged to speak the truth in love and to listen to each other with respect. In fact, research has determined that one proven technique designed to assure success in life is to know how to socially interact with people, how to speak so people will listen, and how to listen so people will speak. It seems that many of us have struggled with how to speak with one another in loving and truthful ways. I want to start off and, and share six communication tips that I think would help every child, every student, every adult develop their relational skills. Number one is to show respect and appreciation. Recognize the person. I mean, use their first name. I, I have a practice of introducing myself and whomever I'm with to the wait staff at a restaurant. Hi, Julie, I'm Randy, and this is Sue Ann, and this is Dana and Connie. Identifying a person by stating their name is, is a great way to express respect. Be affirming. You know, people are, are generally undervalued in their social settings, whether at work or at school or even at home sometimes. I mean, what would life be like if people felt more appreciated, uh, more valued after having spent time with you? Number two, express warmth by actively listening. Validate to understand. Be curious. Seek to understand before being understood. Any attempt like this to express genuine interest in getting to know a person shows warmth and respect. Number three is use good eye contact. We know that eyes are the windows to the soul, right? Express your curiosity by, by locking in and, and gaze into their eyes. Help them know how interested you are in them. Number four, notice body language. You know, there are no quiet people. So observe what their body might be saying even when they aren't using words. A person's face will speak volumes about how they're feeling and, and even what they're thinking. Number five, speak using both content and emotion. Content of values and beliefs and ideas and, and emotional words such as mad or sad, glad, frustrated, excited, scared. You see, true intimacy is being able to communicate and listen for both thoughts and emotion. And finally, number six, don't interrupt. Be patient with people. Maintain that curious posture by, by waiting while the person formulates the words they wish to speak. I'd love for you to download these six tips. You can click on the link that's provided and examine how you might incorporate these tips in the next conversation you have with someone.